Monsieur Poirot, I place myself entirely at your service. You know Poirot? Who would not recognize the most famous detective in the world? You are very kind, mademoiselle. I have a passion for crime. You enjoy the study of it, I hope, not the committing. Oh, the study, the gathering of clues, the questioning of suspects. Merely what the Americans call the footwork. Legwork, I believe, monsieur. As you say. I prefer the detection that occurs here. The little gressels. My scrapbook contains many accounts of your cases. That mysterious affair at Styles, the death of Roger Ackroyd, the noted businessman, Lord Edgware's murder. But, oh, forgive me, I'm rambling. I have a fascination for crime, Monsieur Poirot. You enjoy the study of it, I hope, not the committing. Oh, the study, the gathering of clues, the questioning of suspects. Merely what the Americans call the footwork. Legwork, I believe, monsieur. As you say, I prefer the detection that occurs here. The little gray cells. My scrapbook contains many accounts of your cases. That mysterious affair at Styles, the death of Roger Ackroyd, the noted businessman, Lord Edgware's murder. But forgive me, I'm rambling. I work for your friend, Monsieur Bosk. Ah, of course. And he without doubt has given to you the description most precise. I would have known you anyway. I have a passion for crime. You enjoy the study of it, I hope, but not the committing. Oh, the study, the gathering of clues, the questioning of suspects. Merely what the Americans call the footwork. Legwork, I believe, monsieur. As you say, I prefer the detection that occurs here. The little gray cells. My scrapbook contains many accounts of your cases. That mysterious affair at Styles, the death of Roger Ackroyd, the noted businessman, Lord Edgware's murder. But forgive me, I'm rambling. But I must travel this evening to London. It is of the most importance. My friend, Monsieur Bou, director of the line, assured me of a room aboard a Calais coach. I am sorry, Monsieur. It is incredible. It is off-season, yet the world elects to travel tonight. Not a single room remains. Pardon me, messieurs. I'm Antoinette Marceau from the Istanbul office. Are you quite well, Mademoiselle Marceau? You are flushed and winded. I'm fine, really. It was something of a chore to catch up to the train. But the train, it does not move. Mademoiselle, please tell the gentleman the Calais coach is full. What is your name? Pierre Michel, mademoiselle. I've seen your name on reports. Your record with the company is excellent. Thank you, mademoiselle Marceau. I always strive to do my very best for my passengers. Then strive now, Michel. Perhaps monsieur could sit up in the salon car for the beginning of this journey? Please give monsieur Poirot room 16. It is taken, mademoiselle. But number 16 is always kept in reserve for such emergencies. Nevertheless, tonight it is occupied by an American gentleman, uh, a Monsieur Hardman. He does not sound like someone to be trifled with. We must find a room for Monsieur Poirot. Mademoiselle, if I could construct an additional compartment, I would. Let me see your passenger manifest, please. I have an extra plan of the Calais coach with all the passengers listed. Take it by all means. As you can see, every room is filled. There are extra beds. There are extra beds. Only two. In Mr. McQueen's room, but he has paid for a single. And Miss Olsen's room, but I hardly think Monsieur Poirot. No, merci. I would not think of it. Of course. Monsieur Poirot must share a room with Monsieur McQueen. But Monsieur McQueen's employer paid extra for his secretary's privacy. No, 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 no. no. I would not dream to impose. We will make Monsieur Poirot as comfortable as possible in the salon car. I am sure that Poirot, he will be most comfortable. But Mademoiselle Marceau, would Monsieur Bouc approve? No, probably not. I'm sure Miss Olsen won't mind Monsieur Poirot for one night. She is a missionary. No, this would not be a suitable arrangement for Poirot. Gentlemen, please, only a joke. Give Monsieur Poirot my room. I will be quite comfortable in the salon car. Mademoiselle Poirot, he will not hear of such a thing. I insist I will not compromise the hospitality of the train. Oh, if I must turn you out, why then you will stay in the room of Miss Olsen. I am sure she will not mind when she learns of your sacrifice. No, really, it isn't necessary. No. Poirot has spoken. The matter, it is settled. I will speak to the lady at once.